Hi everybody, this is Jeffrey J. Kelly with the Xilin Center in Corvallis, Oregon. We're going to be teaching some Qigong today. Um, first, we're going to teach is called Connecting Heaven and Earth. And this is a really good practice that we uh, use to begin and end every class. Um, used as a practice on its own, uh, but we'll talk about that in a second. So first thing we want to do is start with the feet about shoulder width apart. Uh, have your uh, body in alignment, head erect, all the 18 rules of posture. We'll go over that in another video. Very simply, we're going to break down into three parts. All Qigong is divided into or comprised of three parts. It's breath, posture, and we'll start with the posture. So from here, we're going to raise the hands up, palms down to about shoulder level. At that point, we're going to flip the palms over, raise them up over the head. Okay, now you're going to press downwards with your palms all the way down to your waist. And then we'll come back to the beginning position. That's the posture, the movement. This time, the in breath. So we're going to inhale as we go up, flip over. And then as you exhale, you're going to press downward again. Okay, third part is the intention. Now the intention is probably the biggest part. Uh, they, the saying is, the mind leads the chi. So by changing the intention, we can change what we are accomplishing here. So in the beginning of class, what we're trying to do is purge internally, purge the negative chi that is built up inside. So you can imagine your body filled with uh, black light, black smoke, black oil, whatever, and it represents the negative or evil chi. So as we inhale and bring the arms up, we're going to be gathering uh, pure chi from the earth, from the center of the earth. If you flip the hands over, now we're going to be gathering pure chi from the heavens. And when I say heavens, of course, I mean the moon, the stars, the planets. All right, we're going to take all that pure chi, we're going to pin through the top of the head, through the bihui point, and push it down. Now, just like a plunger, we're going to use that pure chi to push all the negative black chi out through the soles of our feet into the center of the earth. And so, again, one more time. So we're going to inhale, palms down, bringing chi from the ground. Palms up, gathering chi from the heavens. Exhale, bringing all the pure chi into the body, pushing out all the negative chi. Like that. Okay. So normally we do this three times. So let's go ahead and try that. So we're going to inhale, pull pure chi up from the ground, gather it from the heavens. Exhale, push all the negative out through the body, fill it with pure, listening white chi. Inhale. Exhale, push all the negative out. One more time. Okay, so that's uh, the way we begin our classes. The way we end is the same movement, but with a different intention. At the end of class, if you're doing Tai Chi or Qigong, um, you've circulated the chi through the body, through the channels, um, may have even experienced chi rushing through the channels, and that's a good thing. What we want to make sure, though, is that nothing gets stuck in a place it shouldn't be. Um, yang chi rises, and we want to make sure that it doesn't get out of control. So what the intention is going to be here is gathering the pure chi and now using that to push all our excess energy down below the waist to the Lord Dantian. That's so, uh, the regular chi is going to go through the channel, of course, but what we're doing is taking any excess and pushing it down here and holding it as a reserve. Okay, and then we'll seal in the chi and we'll talk about that in just a moment. So, movement the same, inhaling, bringing pure chi up from the ground, gathering heavenly chi, exhale, now using that to push all the positive but excess energy down 
below the waist down to the lower Dantian. We'll do that two more times. Inhale, gather, exhale, and push downwards. And one more time. Inhale. And exhale. Okay, at the end of your practice, regardless of what it is, it's a good idea to seal in the chi. Um, so we can have that as a reserve. So what we do, um, first of all, is we're gonna we're just gonna physically seal it off with our palms. So remember our Lao Bone point. So this point, if you take your middle fingers and press that into your palms, that's the acupuncture of Lao Bone. Uh, what we're gonna do is place that point as much as possible over the lower dantian. Remember lower dantian about three inches below the navel. And then we're gonna put the opposite hand on top of that. So hopefully the palms and the low bone points are on top of each other. Now here's an important point. Uh, women, you're gonna take your right hand and place that against your stomach. And your left hand is gonna be on top. Men, however, we're going to do the opposite. We're going to place our left hand against our body and our right hand on top. Why? Because primarily, or as you know, men and women are different. And in Chinese medicine, Qigong theory, uh, women are primarily yin and men are primarily yang. The right side of the body is primarily yin. The left side of the body is primarily yang. Now, hopefully one day we'll be able to discuss uh, yin yang theory if you haven't come across it before but just remember neither one of these is good or bad they just exist and uh, we're not going to get into an argument about which one's better there's the, neither one better the whole point of qigong tai chi is to have a balance between the two so there's no other meaning to this than balance okay so when you finish your three pulling or three uh, connecting with heavens and earth Gonna place, excuse me, place your palm against your palms against your stomach against the dantian, and you can imagine the dantian as if it were a bubble, like a soap bubble, and then with your will, your intention, you're going to compress that ball the size of a pearl, a gleaming white pearl, and that'll store that chi, that energy, for another time when you need it, because the dantian is kind of like a pumping station where chi is needed, it pumps it out. And when it's not needed, you can return it to here. Okay, so that's a little bit of uh, Qigong. I want to mention, too, with connecting with heaven and earth, this is something you can use all the time. It's not something you have to do before or after Qigong. You can use it as its own Qigong practice. It's especially good for pulling excess energy down from the head. So if you're ever experiencing um, dizziness, or uh, even a red face, heat, feeling of heat, sensation rushing to your head, um, any kind of negative feeling, red, red face, red eyes, whatever, um, you can just take the energy and push it down. Also good emotionally if you're having anger, anger is to rise, you can just take your time, push it down, okay? and do it as many times as you need to. It's a very useful practice. Um, I think if you try it, you'll find it uh, that it's applicable in, in a lot of situations. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, this is Jeff Kelly with the Xilin uh, Martial Arts Center in Corvallis, Oregon, and thank you.